Buenos dias and welcome back to another video everybody. Today on this channel we're going to talk about the orange menu in the Canon EOS R. That is the custom function menu so we can master this camera. So the first page on the orange menu is exposure level increments. So you have a choice of exposing at a third of a stop or half a stop. So one thing you need to keep in mind based on experience, whichever increment level you choose is up to you. But knowing if you choose half stops, you won't get 1 50th of a second as a shutter speed. Uh, the other day I found that out when I was doing some video and I couldn't figure out how to get to 1 50th of a second when I was shooting at 24 frames per second because I wanted to double the shutter speed in video and I couldn't get it there. That was all because somehow I had my setting on half a stop instead of a third of a stop. So you can dive into those menus and kind of see the variance and how it works for you, but definitely customize the increments according to your needs. Next is the ISO speed increments. These are much the same. The only difference is it goes from a third of a stop to a full stop. So again, change this according to your needs. And as a reminder, where applicable, these settings work for both photography and for video. Moving on to the next line item, it is bracket auto canceling. This just allows you to enable or disable bracket auto canceling. So if you're bracketing a photo, for example, and if you're getting an exposure under and over your normal exposure, what it's gonna do if you enable this feature, it will actually auto cancel the settings for the next time. I don't really have a strong preference on which you choose. I choose to enable it just to clear my settings because each photo is gonna be a little different and if I'm bracketing, I certainly wanna make sure that I have my new normal set to each image based on the light, the composition, and the scenario I'm in. Next, you have a variety of bracketing sequences that you can use in this camera. You can go from zero to negative to positive or from negative to zero to positive or you can go from positive to zero to negative. It's all your choice. So if you wanna underexpose and then overexpose or underexpose or overexpose and then underexpose and then have the neutral in the middle or the normal in the middle or at the start, it doesn't matter. It is to your preference on how these images are shot. In the end, you'll have one of each depending on how many you select. For me, I prefer negative to normal to positive. Next, if you're bracketing images, you have a choice from three, two, five, seven shots. It's all your choice. I leave it at five if I'm ever bracketing. I want two underexposed, two overexposed, and obviously a normal photo for normal exposure based on your setting. Next is safety shift. I just keep this disabled. Essentially, if you're in any kind of priority mode, this will prevent the camera from under or exposing an image when in a priority mode and might be helpful in a run and gun situation, but I just keep it disabled. And finally, the last line item on this page is the same exposure for a new aperture. I keep this setting as off. Just keep in mind, this is for manual exposures. So if you set it to ISO, it will maintain an ISO exposure based on the aperture changing because you zoomed or because you changed the lens. And it works the same if you were to select ISO and shutter speed, it will continue to maintain a level of exposure that is similar to the aperture that you've already set based on a zoom and or a change in lens. And the last one is just shutter speed. Again, works exactly the same. Again, I keep mine off, but it doesn't mean I won't change this in the future. And it's always good to experiment. Let's move on to page two of the orange menu. First line item, shutter speed range. I simply leave this one at 30 seconds as my lowest speed and 8,000 as my highest speed. Next up is setting aperture range. This will all depend on the type of lens that you have and how low your aperture actually can go. For example, the lens I'm shooting on right here is on the Canon 70D actually, and it's a 3.5 at its lowest aperture. So that is as low as I could go on this lens. I have an RF lens, 50 millimeter, that goes down to 1.2. So again, all dependent on the lens that you have, but I just set the lowest aperture range at and the max at 91. I don't think I'll ever see a 91 though. The next one on the list is the AE lock meter mode after focus. What it wants you to do here is choose the type of metering mode. I choose to select evaluative metering, but you can select center weighted, spot metering. Depending on what you choose is how the camera will react when you're focusing on a certain part of the subject in camera. And how you lock this in is by half pressing the shutter button, which enacts the lock 
and therefore you can fire off your shot and it will select the evaluative metering or the type of metering that you selected. All right, y'all, welcome to page three where we have dial direction, shutter speed and aperture, control ring rotation, focus ring rotation. And for these three, you're selecting from normal, which is rotating from negative to positive or reverse from positive to negative. And on the last one, you're controlling how sensitive the focus ring is on an RF lens. Again, only works on an RF lens that you can set and will vary based on the rotation speed, or you can set it and link it to the rotation degree. I felt like the rotation speed was much more reactionary than the rotation degree, but you go ahead and experiment and figure out which one works best for you. Congratulations, we've made it to page four, custom setting number four in the orange menu. These are pretty simple, but yet so powerful. There's a lot to unpack here. We're not gonna go deep into this. I'm just gonna let you know that there is a lot of customization that you can do in this setting here. And this is where the productivity will shine and customization will shine based on how you use your camera and how you wanna use it. So to keep this simple, the customized buttons, the customized dials, and the customized touch bar can execute a variety of different features that the Canon EOS R possesses. There are so many combinations that you can change here. It can make your head spin. So keep it simple at first and then change one feature at a time until you're comfortable with what you like in your camera. There's a variety of different combinations that you can select from. I would suggest, again, just doing them one at a time and seeing what works best for you. That's gonna be the key. Just keep plugging away and keep experimenting. You're gonna get this camera dialed in just the way you want. The last line item on page four of the orange menu, it's simple, clear, customized settings. If you wanna clear all the settings in your camera that you've customized because you just wanna start from scratch, hit that button, get rid of it all, start over. All right, page five of the customized function orange menu is called others. And here there's just a bunch of other stuff. And the first line item here is add cropping information. So you can only actually add cropping information is if your camera is in full frame mode. So if you didn't know, you can actually set your camera to 1.6 times crop, one to one, a four three aspect ratio and so on. But it needs to be in full frame to add cropping information. And that cropping information is on your camera if you so choose to select it. The next one is the default erase option. That's the trash can option on your camera and how you wanna actually go about deleting different files in your camera. I just leave it on the first line, cancel selected, which gives me full control on which file I want to erase in the camera or on the SD card. As an alternative though, you can select a combination of raw plus JPEG selected, raw selected, or just JPEG selected. It's up to you, again, very customizable. I just wanna make sure I avoid erasing a file that I didn't mean to erase. The next one is release shutter without lens. It simply means that if you enable it, that without a lens, you'll be able to fire the shutter. And if you disable it, then you will not be able to. So simple as that. On retract lens on power off, this only works on a manual shut off of your camera and I keep it enabled. And for the last line item, IPTC information, this is just metadata. And if you want to add even more metadata to what your camera reads out when you load it up into editing software, you can actually connect your camera to the EOS utility software. And in that software, you can actually add more information such as your name, copyright information, loads of information that will carry even more metadata for your file for that specific image as you're taking and collecting different files on your camera. If that's something you wanna hear more about, let me know, I can do a video on that. But nonetheless, it's just more metadata for your card to read and for you to have it within each image. If you made it this far, you made it to page six of the orange menu of the custom function menu called clear. It's called clear. And just as that line item says, clear all custom functions. If you wanna do that, this is where you do it. You get rid of everything, you start from scratch and you start all over because you just got things all messed up and you just wanna start from scratch. I wouldn't blame you if you had to choose a selection. It's sometimes nice just to start from scratch. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. I certainly did. If you have a specific custom function that you use on your Canon EOS R or any camera for that matter, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like this video if you liked any part of it. It really helps me out. And please ring that bell so you are notified of future videos. Remember, I 
put videos on this channel every Monday and Thursday. Love you guys so much. I think that's gonna do it. I ah, hope you had a good time. Peace.